Florida winter is here and so is Adam Driver's gray hair. Let's talk about Ferrari. Ferrari is directed by Michael Mann, the awesome director who directed Collateral, and he and it stars Adam Driver, Penelope Cruz, and Shailene Woodley. And I have to say, I was super excited to see a new Michael Mann movie coming to theaters. I've been a fan of this guy ever since I saw the movie Collateral years ago. Um, after I saw Collateral, I immediately went and watched um, Heat, and then I just immediately became clear to me that he is a very talented director, and so I have always been keeping an eye out anytime he has a new movie released, so I was super excited to see this movie. So let's dive into why this movie is either worth your time or not worth your time. Right off the bat, I'm going to say Adam Driver does a fantastic job in this movie. I don't know if this is a career best. It definitely could be. He plays um, Angel Ferrari with this cold distance to him. He definitely comes off as this guy who just, he wants to be the best car. He wants to be the fastest car. And that's all he really seems to care about. And Adam Driver really just nails this performance. He does this role. He's almost unlikable at times. You know, you just, you can tell that this guy is just... He's a little bit self-absorbed. He almost might even lack a little bit of empathy. I don't know if that's how the real Enzo Ferrari was, but that's how he's portrayed in this movie. And I thought Adam Driver did great. And while I'm talking about excellent actors in this movie, I definitely have to mention Penelope Cruz. She was fantastic in this movie. She gives definition to hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. She comes across very angry. She's very moody. She's a girl that you don't want to be messing with. My theater had a lot of fun watching her. She has some really fun scenes. Uh, I don't want to give spoilers away, but she has, you know, just a hell of a personality in this movie. And she just knocks it out of the park. She is awesome in this movie. It's been a long time now since the, you know, the boom of the young adult novels. You know, there was a period there after the Hunger Games came out that they're just like, oh my gosh, let's just keep making more of these young adult books. Everybody really, really likes them. So then they did you know, Maze Runner and then they did Divergent. And that series ended up kind of tanking. It wasn't very good. It dis didn't pull people in the same way the Hunger Games did. And so poor Shelly and Willie, she really didn't get, you know, much attention. She was kind of left in Jennifer Lawrence's shadow. They're like, this is no Katniss Everdeen. I am sorry. But, you know, it was great to see her in this movie. She does an excellent job playing against Adam Driver's dynamic personality in this movie. And it was just very cool to see a more evolved version of her. She definitely has evolved a lot since those young adult movies. And I think that she's going to continue to be a standout actress and someone that we should definitely be keeping an eye on. There's been a lot of movies with racing lately. We've had, um, you know, Ford vs. Ferrari, which is fantastic. That was a great movie. Uh, that's a few years ago now. But we also had, just this year, Gran Turismo, which is based on, you know, it's kind of loosely based on the Sony property. It's a video game. It's based on a video game, but it's a true story. That was actually a really good movie. I haven't reviewed it yet, but I am thinking about it. Should I review it? Uh, let me know in the comments. But anyway, somehow the racing in this movie still feels unique. It still feels fresh. There is like a grittiness to the racing in this movie because compared to like, say, some of these other movies, the cars don't feel nearly as safe. You know, you're looking at these cars thinking you definitely need to be careful. Please don't take this turn too hard because you're going to fly out of the seat and it's not going to be good. And you definitely feel concerned for these drivers, you know, more than you have in any other movie because these cars were definitely old. They were definitely, you know super fast and super unsafe. Michael Mann did a great job recreating 1957. You know, I'm always impressed when I see these movies that are able to just bring back this old time and just excellently recreate it. Like, where are they getting these cars? How are there so many preserved cars that are still driving? I'm always impressed. I thought he did a great job. You know, visually, this movie had everything going for it. You can definitely tell that this movie wants to be an art house movie. It, this movie feels like Michael Mann felt like making an indie movie. And this movie has an indie movie feel. And sometimes that is actually to its detriment because sometimes the pacing in this movie is a little bit slow and um, it holds it back from being like a perfect movie. Um, but overall, I thought, you know, Michael Mann did a great job. I think, you know, you can tell he painstakingly recreated this world. He brought out these excellent performances. We're not seeing the cheesy Kylo Ren actor here. We're seeing, you know, a great actor in this movie. Adam Driver is excellent. Penelope Cruz did great. And, you know, it was just a well-rounded movie. Is it a perfect movie? Is it Michael Mann's best movie? I don't think so. I think this movie is, you know, definitely up there for him and definitely a welcome return to form for him. I'm glad to see him making a major motion picture. 
I hope that this is a continuing trend and he continues doing so because um, he has a good talent to him and he would be robbing the world if he didn't continue making more movies. So now we have to think of a score. And I have to say, you know, most of this movie is really good. I thought it was super entertaining. I think that there's a lot to be loved about this movie. Um, but their pacing can be a little bit slow at times. And therefore, I, I think it's more of like an 8 out of 10 for me. You know, this is definitely, you know, not a bad movie. But it's also not a fantastic movie. It's definitely just a very good movie. And I think, you know, if anything keeps you into this movie, it's going to be these performances from these actors, um, Adam Driver, Penelope Cruz, Shailene Woodley, they all make this movie super entertaining. Michael Mann behind the camera, you cannot deny this man is talented. He has an eye for this kind of thing. So this movie is definitely worth watching. I definitely think that a lot of people are going to enjoy it. It definitely feels like an art house movie. It feels independent. It's not the most fast paced movie. This is a movie that's going to give you an insight into Enzo Ferrari and how he built the empire and those overpriced sports cars that everyone likes so much. So yeah, if you thought this review was interesting, please like it. If you want to see more things like this, please subscribe to my channel. I have more stuff like this coming. We're going to keep seeing movies. Actually, I have another one planned in mind that I'm going to be reviewing soon. So definitely check back for that. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.